Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Currently caffeinating. I haven't had coffee all day and it's 4.24 p.m. This is my first cup of the day. Dad, are you proud? ASMR. <laughs> so today I'm going to be filming a good old OG favorites video. October favorites, if you will. Every month throughout the month, I'll just randomly write things that I'm loving. I'll be like using, I'll be like doing my makeup in the morning. I'm like, wow, I love this. Like, I want to tell the damn fam about this or whatever it may be. That was so cheesy sounding. I want to tell the damn fam about this, but you know what I mean? Um, so these are just straight up things that I've been loving, things that you guys have probably been seeing in the vlogs. This video is not sponsored at all. Every now and then, um, my things I'm loving right now will be sponsored just because it's, I don't know, an easy way to talk about things I'm loving, so obviously, but this one, as a disclaimer, it's not sponsored at all, just things I literally have been liking and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, these are some things that you guys have been asking me about that I like forget to tag on Instagram or whatever it may be, so this might answer your question. And I will have all the links down below to everything I show you guys per usual. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm um I'm a little low energy. If I seem like in a bad mood, I'm not. I'm actually like really, really happy today. I'm like really thankful for life. But um I'm just a little tired. I don't know why. I think I do know why. I took a 8 a.m. spin class, which doesn't sound that early, but it, it just makes you so tired the rest of the day. Do any of you guys feel that way? I don't know. I don't know. Like this is like a fun vibe to like take a photo, like hee hee filming. I don't know. Just an idea. Boy, am I getting sweaty. So I guess we'll just get started. I'm just gonna pick things at random. I don't even know. I really like the lighting right now. I'm very happy with it. Um, oh, I'm exposed. There's the ring light in the back. Can I just start this video already? Sorry. All right, here's something that I featured in a couple favorites videos before already, and then I kind of stopped using um, when it was just super hot outside because it was just like too oily season for me. But we are back at it. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. I'm obsessed with this. I forgot how much I loved it, to be honest. Just got a new bottle and a PR package, actually, and I was really hyped because I ran out of my other one. This is a little bit expensive, I can't lie, but this stuff is amazing. It's vitamin C and turmeric face oil with advanced vitamin C, turmeric, and evening primrose oil to brighten, hydrate, and glow. This stuff is amazing. I love the smell. However, whenever I put it on, Delaney will be like... Did you just put like olive oil on your face? But it doesn't smell like olive oil to me. I don't really know, but she says it smells weird. I like the smell. That's just a me thing. But um, regardless, I put this on in the morning before I do my makeup. And I just, I actually just did my makeup. I just put this on under it and I just think it makes your makeup look extra good. And it's just super moisturizing. You just need a little bit and it just smells so good, like I said, and I love it. And I put it on at night too sometimes. Or I'll put on a more intense moisturizer on at night. But Love this serum. Great. If you're looking for like a new serum or something, check these out. I guess I'll stick with skincare. I think I've also talked about this in another things I'm loving right now video, but I just, I can't, I just love these. These are the naturally serious cold pressed, that dropped it, uh, peel pads. Love these. I literally went on Revolve and bought two. I got these from Revolve. They're from Revolve Beauty. I don't know if other stores sell them, but I'll have a link down below. Um, they're literally just um, circular pads that have product in them and they are cold pressed so every morning I like my face just feels tired I'm tired like I just need something to wake me up and personally I don't love just splashing my face I don't really know it's just a little too much so I'll take one or two of these and just rub them in circular motions and it's just it almost feels like I'm rubbing a cucumber on my face but I know it's good for me and it just feels so oh I just love it so um, I love these a lot they're just great and incredible next up if you guys watched my haul a couple videos ago I got two pairs of Ray-Bans and I've been wearing them like it's my job I love them they're the Ray-Ban blaze aviators a lot of you guys have asked me about these I've been wearing them a lot on my Instagram stories vlogs whatever it may be and these are like a I don't know they're kind of like key sunglasses in a way they're like a new style of aviator from Ray-Ban and I really really like them so these are the all black ones I wear these when I don't want to be as like flashy, I guess, if I want them to just kind of like be an accomplice to my outfit, not like a, a staple, if that makes sense. I really, really, really like these. I like how they're flat. They don't like go around your face, if that makes sense. And then I also got the, I guess they're like the green lenses with gold detailing because I wear a lot of gold and I like that as my accessory. Sometimes these are a little bit much, but um, they're also good for day to day. Honestly, I wear these to like when I'm walking in class and stuff like that. I just love this new style of Ray-Ban, so I just wanted to tell you guys an update. I've been wearing these every day and I'm really, really happy with them. They're like slightly oversized, so it's like the perfect amount. Next up, I have a pair of shoes. A couple of you guys asked me about these. These are the Steve Madden Miles sneakers. A lot of you guys asked me about them. I never would have pictured myself buying a pair of like 
athletic sneakers from Steve Madden. Like, I just didn't think, not that these are necessarily athletic, like, these are definitely kind of on the athleisure side. I like them because they have, like, a little, um, what's this called? Adjustable, whatever. I don't, I don't really, you know what I'm trying to say. And it just tightens it. Like, there's no, you don't have to tie your shoes or anything. It's just so easy. I love, like, the little pink detailing in the back. What I was really drawn to, these are the white ones. They also have them in black and maybe one or two other colors. Um, I loved the arch. I think it's a great look, kind of like Balenciaga vibes. Um, but then they're also a little bit more sleek, so I'll wear these walking to class all the time. I love how they're slip on and just tighten them. Um, so yeah, these are the Steve Madden Miles sneakers. I love them. They're super cute. They're very flattering on. I don't know how to explain it. They're just very slimming, if that's possible. So yeah. <laughs> Next up on the athleisure vibe, I got these joggers from Urban Outfitters. Another place that I wouldn't really get joggers, I feel like. Well, I guess you would. I don't know. I've never got joggers from Urban Outfitters before, and I love these. I've been wearing them, like, every day. I like these joggers because they're literally just, like, black. They're kind of similar to the Lululemon Dance Studio joggers that I have. These almost fit a little bit better, and they're not super annoyingly high-waisted, but, like, I mean, you can wear them as high-waisted as you want. I wore these in an Instagram recently. A lot of you guys are wondering where my pants were from. Um, but the reason I like these is because they're tapered, obviously, like joggers, but then they have this awesome, the way it tapers in with this little extra little ankle piece, it makes your legs look so good, and it, they're not super baggy, so if I want to look, like, kind of more put together, they're not as, like, sloppy looking, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I love these joggers. They're from Urban Outfitters. They weren't that expensive, so I'll link them below as well. Another favorite of mine you guys have been asking me about is this necklace. This is my 1998 necklace. It's... I, I, I love it so much. Um, it My parents got it for me for my birthday, for my 21st birthday. I was born September 20th, 1998. It's funny because it looks like it says beer backwards. A lot of you guys asked me where they got it from. They got it from a local jeweler and had them custom make it, but I found a ton of them online. Like my friends got them at just local gift shops or Etsy has a ton. Seriously, just look up like 1997 or 2001 like whatever year you are you just literally look it up online um, Mine specifically they just showed a picture of one that they liked and showed it to them So I love it, but I found one on Amazon actually I think that was super inexpensive so I linked that down below for you guys so, This has truly been a favorite of mine. These are things that I've been wearing um, if you guys don't know, Brooke and I have a podcast together called Gals on the Go. We recently came out with podcast merch, which has always been a dream of ours, and it's so exciting to see our dreams come into a reality. Um, I've been wearing this sweatshirt literally every day, like every morning when my morning classes are occurring, like, you can catch me just putting this on with leggings and going to class because it's just, it just, it's just a mood. So this is the Don't Text hoodie. It's one of our best sellers. Um, it's just a white hoodie. I got it in a size large for reference, but I just ordered an XL. So I want to see if I like that vibe. It says Don't Text. If you guys don't know, um, it's said a lot on the podcast. We just did a simple Don't Text sweatshirt. I love it because it's such a mood. Like if I'm like kind of like not in the best mood in the morning, like I just woke up, you know, like I'm just like needing to wake up. I put this on. I'll even put the hood on sometimes. And I'm like, Don't Text. Like don't honestly for that reason I guess that would be like don't bother it's more of like I'm having fun don't text either way this is a great sweatshirt I love it I got don't text sweatshirts for like all my best friends because I was like you guys can pick out anything from merch that you want and everyone picked up this so not saying anything and it's so comfy like I'm just so happy with it as you guys are watching this um today we released a new item so we have a ton of different items on the merch website but um I released a new item today that I was really really passionate about as you guys know I've been wearing baseball hats a lot lately I just think they're great for bad hair days and just so many other things. So we came out with the Gals on the Go hat. I love it. So it's just black and it says on the go. So it's gender neutral. And I thought it would just, it just looked better. It was more classy. Um, so it's kind of a similar font to the Don't Text. I freaking love it. It's like so awesome because it's like if you walk past someone that also listens to Gals on the Go, it's like, oh my God, hey, what's up? But like, if not, it's like, oh my God, she's just like a hustler. Like she's on the go. Like I love this. The on the go pops so much. It goes great with so many outfits. It's neutral. It's Ugh, I just want to like keep this on. I'm just I'm so happy with it Like when I got the sample and I was like no edits like this is perfect. So yeah link down below But it's shop.podcast1.com slash gals. The last tangible item I have is this actually I got this off of Amazon the beginning of the year um, It's just a felt Jewelry organizer tray. I actually saw this because I think like Lauren Elizabeth or someone got one and I always have struggled so hard no I'm kidding not really but like I do struggle and I have struggled my whole life figuring out the best way to organize my jewelry in a way I can see it all but it's not all bunched together I don't know I just never could figure out a good way this is the way you guys so I literally just got this on Amazon I'll have a link to the exact this exact one down below but um I put all my earrings 
all my necklaces and the felt kind of helps everything stick so it's not sliding around and I think this one has 24 squares but they have like obviously different ones and this is like all of my jewelry that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis or like you know like the stuff that I want to see every day so it's just awesome and I love it's very classy looking and I think it honestly does look good all together so I just I realize I haven't really talked about it that much but it is seriously such a life changer and it makes me like actually want to wear more jewelry and like not wear the same thing every day because I can see it all when I'm like going to like accessorize so I don't know it's just like a good experience overall you know coffee break oh also this is like a favorite but like I didn't really like list it I'm obsessed I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max this is not a flex I just if you can get your hands on one this thing is insane the three cameras really do it justice if you guys follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn you would know I'm obsessed with the wide angle lens yes it does make my feet look three times bigger than they are but you know it's because of the wide angle lens like the no. And I've been using this camera and like doing little vlog clips with it and doing like wide angle vlog clips And it's just so cool and the quality is incredible like it's just It's just crazy. So and I love this phone case. I got it from Casetify um, It's just clear and then it says Danny and this is one of their impact cases because I do drop my phone sometimes and I already have and it has protected it so that's kind of the whole nine yards with that but Love this. I know Delaney just got the iPhone 11, not the iPhone 11 Pro, and she loves it as well. Um, the camera, there is still a wide angle lens on that as well, so shout out. All right, so I have a couple other little favorites for you guys. Um, wanna talk about music for just a quick second. Um, I've talked about it in some vlogs, but I'm obsessed with the Autumn Jazz playlist on Spotify. Katie Bilotti told me about it. I'm obsessed. It's, if you like jazz music, like Frank Sinatra, that whole vibe, it's that. But basically, almost all the songs on it are instrumental. I just love jazz music because it's not Christmas music, but it sounds like Christmas, so I feel like I can listen to it whenever I want. Um, and it just gives you that same warm and fuzzy feeling that you would get from Christmas music, holiday music, and I'm just so ready for the holidays, oh my god. Recently, I've been enjoying Autumn Jazz on Spotify, so check it out, I'll have a link down below to the exact playlist. But it just puts me in a really, really, really good mood, like light a candle, put a Yule log on your YouTube, like, it just looks like a fireplace, it's awesome. As for podcasts, I listen to a lot of podcasts, I listen to a ton, I listen all the same ones that I always do but one that I've particularly been listening to a lot and I've just been like every week I wait for the episode to come out is Manifest by my good friend Tori D. Simone. She is just awesome. She owns her own spin studio. She's a YouTuber. She has her own podcast now and she just gives the best advice. I was listening to her episode this week about um, essentially, well, I could read you the title because it's literally what I was listening to when I was doing my makeup. Rebuilding your life, removing toxic people, starting over, goals, manifestations, etc. She goes into detail about how to manifest, you know, be aware of who should be in your life and who shouldn't. It was just, she's just, she's just awesome and I love her and I'm just so proud of her. So I've been loving her podcast recently. But I always listen to, um, you know, Katie Bilotti's podcast. I love The Skinny Confidential. I just started listening to Lauren Elizabeth's first podcast called Mood, The Morning Toast, and obviously Gals on the Go podcast. I mean, it's whatever. We're now doing two podcasts a week. So as you guys are watching this, we just uploaded a new podcast episode this morning. But then, so every Monday and Wednesday is essentially when we'll be uploading podcasts. But the Monday version will be a lot different. Wednesday is the same, you know, highlights, lowlights, current, favorite, everything. And then we get into the main topic. Whereas Mondays are going to be like 30 minutes only it's called the happening and we talk about things that are happening right now just pop culture whatever just like some girls sitting at brunch um honestly and that's the vi that, i don't want to say the vibe that's the that's the vibe i don't know what else to say that we were going for maybe i need to make some vibe emerge clearly i don't know um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm like in a really random mood, but honestly, this is just who I am. And you just gotta accept it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have a link to everything down below. I really enjoyed filming this for you guys. It put me in a better mood. I feel a lot more awake and just ready for the day, even though it's halfway through the day. So, um, yeah. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.